Greetings Vintage Diecast fans. Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Today we're moving on with episode 4 of My Vintage Collection and I've actually been in the roof at my mum's and pulled down these four boxes. Now for some of you the boxes will actually hold interest, for others of you what's inside is going to hold interest. To avoid this being super super long I'm going to break this down into a couple of episodes. Um, today I'm going to deal with the two small cases at the top in this episode four and then I'll deal with another two cases in episode five and the final two cases in episode six. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so. Please stick the notification bell on uh, I have noticed that some people have been saying that uh, Facebook have been unsubscribing people when they've not got the notification bell on. So if you want to avoid that happening and you want to avoid missing out on any of my uploads, then please make sure you stick the notification on and obviously your subscription helps me, helps me grow the channel. Also, down in the comments section below, the reason why all of my videos are marked as not for children is so that you have a comment section so you can talk to me, so you can talk about the stuff there, so you can share tips, you can share links and stuff like that. Anyway, that's there and please drop a like on the video because again it really does help me. Now, let's get down to the vintage diecast action. Okay, so starting out with the two smaller boxes. Um, I don't actually know what's in what box, so we'll see how we go. This is one of the older ones, uh, so there are some more vehicles that are loose. This is quite heavy, I think this is fairly full. Let's have a look inside, let's move that one off to the side. Let's get that out so that we can see. Right, let's have a look. Excellent. So we've got two layers. <coughs> oh, can I get the bottom one out? Yeah. There we go. forward slightly doing all of this live right let's push those to one side and we'll come to those in a second so we've got a lot of my emergency services and things in this one so first up I've got an ambulance so Matchbox number one forty one ambulance nineteen seventy seven. Obviously, I played with this as a child, so it's lost its rear doors. Looks to be an American Dodge style. Um, I'll pull out all of the emergency services vehicles first, and then we'll do the others. First of my two of these. This is the more modern one. I think it's been bitten on the top there because I think this used to rotate round. So this is a matchbox roll along. Number 20, police patrol. So it's a Range Rover. Find the works in reverse. I've also got this version of the same one. This is a 1975. Yeah, both 1975, but um, see here by my thumb. Hopefully that's showing on camera. The little uh, thing that actually moves the cog system inside. 
that one. Oh, yeah, got two police range rovers, an ambulance. My brother of Keldon will be interested in this one because he has a thing for Volkswagens. So a Volkswagen police car. Uh, the light's been pushed down inside. It's a Whiz Wheels Corgi Junior, made in Great Britain. Volkswagen 1300. Still runs fairly well. Now one that's going to please my brother Phil. Because he has a thing for Porsches. Porsche police car. Again, Corgi Juniors, Porsche Carrera. Something with a bit of colour now. Range Rover fire truck. This one from Majorette. Majorette, focus, come on, there we go. Have these weird little indents inside. Don't know what that was all about. But yeah, this is a Range Rover, made in France. It's a Majorette one. One of my fire engines. I don't know whether I've got any of the others in here. Um, I think I've got other fire engines. It's been a long time. I'm 45 now. I had these, I guess these got kind of put away when I was 10, 12. Um, I was born in 1975, so yeah. Uh, ERF fire engine water tender. Two more police vehicles to go. Now, this one could find a place on Vulcan Raceway. American style. Matchbox again, Peter Belt, 1981. Again, if there's any information, more information on any of these vehicles, please do drop a comment or go across to my page, Sharky's Garage, on Facebook. Send me a message there. Look at those wheels. So this is a European one. This is a Alpine A310. Okay. And the blue. Let's bump in the holes nicely. Um, now this is an old one, one of my, my favourites. Another one of the roller longs, the stoat. And I think this one works. Oh, yeah. So you can see his head's turning around. That's the stoat. Right, what we got here? We have got made by in England by Leslie 1978 matchbox series it's a patent applied for Mercedes truck in the superfasts so there is one or two cases here that have got um, quite a few trucks in uh, there's also a case here that's got farm machinery in so because I came from a rural farming community so thus, having 164th scale farming equipment was a thing. Right. On the emergency vehicle side, so... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> SOS Doctor. Datsun 260Z. Majorette. And back in the day, back in the day, we had play features like opening doors. I don't know what 
what that is on the front there. Uh, yeah, so the paint, some of the paints come off. It's actually got. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. It's actually got a number plate as well. And the toe hitch on the back. Keeping with that theme, this vehicle I used for play acting because it is one of my favourites. It is a three litre Ford Capri. Uh, Capri. This is the S. But from the series The Professionals, it has an opening bonnet. Hood for you Americans. Um, you can see the detailing of the engine bay. But yeah, um, this I use for playing out the professionals, Bodie and Doyle. Um, and there was another series as well that used a Triumph TR7, and I can't remember what it is right now. Or well, this was until I got my Knight Rider car, I think, maybe. But anyway, um, Corgi Jr.'s Triumph TR7. Again, Corgi had this interesting thing where they put a rib on the centre of the wheels. Um, rolling okay. Might have to see what these some of these go like down the uh, down Vulcan Raceway and actually do some vintage racing. Somewhere else there will be the police cars. I think they're in the stuff that I've got for Vulcan Raceway. But here it is, my General Lee. This is a branded, licensed one. Uh, see, can you see that? Licensed in 1981, made by Ertl. Similar ties to the Corgi Juniors. That's a licensed General Lee. Talking about different brands, because obviously in the titles you'll notice that I put a lot of brands down because, to be honest, there are a lot of brands in here. No Rev, another French one. This is Trapeze Bertone Mini Jet. It's tiny. If we look at that side by side with the Capri, Also the French ones, another no rev, uh, Renault 18 GTS. Um, we used to go on holiday to France. Don't know what that is on there. And so this is probably picked up from that because there was a whole set of Renaults I had. They don't run very well, but nice castings. My grandfather had a BMW, and my dad had one at one point, and I actually got dad sideways to not long after I passed my driving test at 10 mile an hour, something to do with rear wheel drive cars. I prefer front wheel, but anyway. Um, so this is a BMW 2002. Pencil mark of a number one on that one. <laughs> oh, this is a matchbox. I can feel by the wheels. Yeah, matchbox super fast Dodge Challenger. I've got a couple of Dodges. Um, that's nineteen seventy five. Well, and that one also has a number plate. Rolls Royce with opening doors. Number 39 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow, 1979. 
I was four. Okay. And there's another one of these somewhere else. I think this is Spider-Man one or something. But Superman, Christopher Reeve. I love the round windows in the back of this. So it's Corgi Jr.'s Kept Chevrolet Van. So that's that box. We'll move on to the second box. On to case two for today. And case two. Oh, looks like we've got some older stuff, some buses, caravans. Put that one out. Not a lot in here. Oh, what's that say? Every effort has been taken to ensure that your toy is in perfect condition. In the event of a complaint, please contact Customer Service Department, Matchbox Toys, Lincoln Road, Enfield, Middlesex. Telephone 01805 This applies to UK only. Put that back in the box. Right, so let's look at these. Right, let's crack on with this case. Pull them out. Starting off. Boss Hog, and his Ertel licensed Boss Hog's Cadillac. I should probably put that alongside the General Lee. Complete with the bullhorns on the front. Next up, we have Simon Templer with his Jaguar XJS. Now this is an old one and I don't know where it came from. I might have picked this up second hand, I don't know, because this is a bit more battered than I used to treat my toys. I tend to keep fairly good look after them. So made in France. Majorette Excalibur. Number 267. Again with the opening hood, bonnets. Matchbox series number 36, super fast. It's an Opal Diplomat, 1970. Look at those really skinny wheels. So again, I think this is one I inherited. But look at the details. The cars actually had engine bays and things like that. Today, oh, and tow bars. Today, they just focus on flashy paint jobs and the wheels. They don't necessarily focus on the play functions. And this one. Mercedes 450 SE Lind toy made in Hong Kong again a different manufacturer so it's had a bit of damage look at that multiple part casts again nice engine bay Boot doesn't open, or the trunk for the Americans. Right. 
This one the wheels broke on. I could fix that now. But Corky Juniors, Mercedes Benz bus. Mercedes Taxi. Again, Corgi Juniors. Uh, Mercedes Benz 2400. So that could be a 2400 too. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, look. Can you see the little taxi sign in the top there? Again, tow bars. You'll see in a minute why. London buses. This one. Tops a bit damage on. Erga paints, little wheels. Matchbox super fast. Number 17, the Londoner. Now, this one's particularly thing. This it was for the Queen's Royal uh, Silver Jubilee in 1977. I was two. And this was bought for me by my parents. And I tried to keep it in a good state. So it's again the Londoner. It rolls nicely. We'll deal with the cars and then we've got some other bits in here. I mentioned earlier I'd got some uh, Renaults. This one, uh, oh no, this is Citroen. Citroen Visa. These no revs didn't, the wheels didn't stay on too well. Uh, that drops out in there. But they had some interesting uh, window tints to them. And again, number plate. Don't know whether you can read that. So yeah. Again, an older one. This one actually had rubber tires on by the looks of it. Made by Lesney, Matchbox Series, number 55 of 73, and it's a, it's a Mercury. So it's a Mercury police car. This one's iconic. I love the fact that the hooks have got somewhere to hook into on the back to stop them going wide. Matchbox Superfast Joe Toe 1972. Should I use that on Vulcan Raceway? I have always liked Land Rovers, and this is my favourite colour blue. So I wonder where this has all come from. So that looks like that's a Series 1 Land Rover. Land Rover experts will be able to jump on me for this, but I think it's a Series 1 Land Rover. Um, Matthew, one of the guys at the BERCC, who hopefully will watch this video, and will send me a comment to tell me what type of Land Rover that is based on that. I think it's a Series 1. Um, Corky Junior Land Rover. Tow truck. Now, in the catalogues, we talked about caravans and how caravans were a thing. Uh, my family went on caravanning holidays, so I had caravan toys. So this is Corgi Junior Caravan. I had two or three of these um, with an opening door. If I had a campsite, I could set one up on Vulcan, Vulcan Raceway. That would look good. These ones are a bit broken, but again, they're older. So this is an Avelig Barford tractor shovel made in England by Leslie, number 43. I think these two go together. Leslie England. What's that one say? 
Leslie England. So yeah. Well, this concludes episode four of my vintage diecast collection. We'll move on to episode five next Friday. These videos go live at 12 noon on a Friday. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you have left me a comment. I hope you've liked the video. I hope you're all subscribed and I hope you've got the bell on. Catch you next time.